Air too dry? Use a humidifier. Let's check this one out. Dave Taylor here and I'm just breathing in all this glorious moisture in the air. This is the Kikun Ultrasonic Humidifier and it's really nice. As you can see, it's an unusual design. It's a standing tower. Most humidifiers tend to be short squat affairs that don't take much water and end up having to be refilled every couple hours. Not good. This this has a great capacity. This is a two gallon or seven and a half liter capacity of water. And that's all fitting on the top part here. So the bottom part is actually where all the magic happens. That's turning the water into this lovely mist. And one of the great benefits of having it come out this high off the ground or off of your furniture is you're less likely to have moisture on your carpet or your floor or your furniture. And you're more likely to have the moisture where you need it, where it's, for example, someone who's in bed and maybe is having some issues with their health. So this is just glorious. It's such a nice feeling because I live in Colorado and in Colorado, there's a lot going for our state, but not humidity. In fact, in the winter, we have such low humidity that people get nosebleeds and there's lots of static electricity. If you haven't moved here, don't move here. It's like super problem. <laughs> it's not that bad, actually. And of course, one of the solutions is a humidifier. So the Kikun is actually really nice. So it has that two gallon capacity, which means it can run for 24 hours without you refilling it. That's really nice. And it refills off the top. So I can go ahead and put more water in. That's why I have the pitcher. By simply opening that top portion and adding it. So this is as easy as it gets, right? So this is something that you can do anytime. It's so much easier than these other units where you have to take the whole, you know, sort of storage thing off and you have to unscrew it and put it under the tub. I have some of those too. And there's such a pain you end up saying, yeah, whatever, we don't need the humidity. With this, as you can see, it's super easy. And when it is time to disassemble it and clean it, they even include this pipe cleaner brush, which is pretty epic. Actually, this is a pretty cool brush, right? But save it for this purpose. <laughs> Don't lose it in your house somewhere. And that's great because you do want to keep it clean. But here's the thing is this is on maximum right now. And if you can listen, there's really no noise at all. All you're getting is the occasional little drip sound, which is inevitable with all of these humidifiers. So it has three levels of misting. It actually has this remote control, pretty dorky looking remote control, but who the heck cares, right? Would have been nice if they would have designed like a little holder or a magnet, but you could do that with a piece of two-sided Velcro or something, but it gives you power on and off. So I can turn it off. And then everything, all the feedback is here on the bottom, including this little display. So if I turn it on, now I have the option on the remote. Here's a close-up of it. Uh, I can set constant humidity. And I can also do max or min. If I really just want to pump it up, I have four levels of misting. Sorry, three levels of misting. So I can just have it on maximum like I do now. And then I get this sort of great effect. But more importantly, if this was by my bed and I was having some like health issues and felt poorly and my throat was really dry and scratchy, something like this could make a huge difference. If nothing else, I'm getting a good night's sleep. So you can also specify there's a timer. So I can actually specify that maybe I just want it to run for a couple hours, then I want it to turn off. But what's nice is it also has a shutdown waterless shutoff timer. So if it runs out of water, it automatically turns off, which you would hope would be the case. But that's really helpful too. So you don't have to be too, you know, super paranoid that, oh my gosh, my humidifier ran out of water. I don't want it to break. It won't do that. It also has a shutdown timer that ranges anywhere, like I said, from one to 12 hours. There's a light you can turn on and off if you want a little, very, very subtle little light. I suppose in a very dark room you would see it, but you can turn it on or off, which I really appreciate because a lot of people really want the room they're sleeping in to be as dark as possible. That's great. And finally, there's a sleep mode. And, you know, that gives you the ability to have this work on a quieter, less intense, you know, and you can also just turn it all on and off, whatever you want to do. Now, 
if you lose the remote, it's, I haven't figured out, oh, I guess these are touch screen, or touch sensitive, so that's good. So if you lose the remote, you still have functionality, but if this is on the floor, that's a little awkward to get to versus it being on the top, but that's a design decision on their part because you should use the remote much easier. So let's see, not much else to talk about. It's just, you know, it's a humidifier. This is not actually a super complicated piece of science, but it does a really good job. I really like it. And, you know, I am always looking for some extra moisture in the air. Like I said, it's a Colorado thing, but really nice. Now, my intention with this is that post review, this is gonna live in my daughter's apartment and help her plants be healthy. So not just will it help her and her boyfriend actually feel better because it'll be a little more moisture in the air, their air, but this is great for plants. If your plants are really thirsty all the time, it might be that you have low humidity. So this is a good solution for that too. And that really is all I got. It's 28 inches tall, about 10 and a half inches around, or I guess across in either direction. And it's 5.5 pounds, so you can lift it and move it around. But remember, the top part is where all the water is and the bottom part is where that water turns into mist that's kind of a cool effect there right um, probably shouldn't run it like that because obviously once the tiny reservoir in here runs out of water it's going to stop because all the water's here but you figured that out right um, controls are here controls are duplicated here so the only thing else to talk about is the price but before we get to the price i'm going to ask if you yes you can subscribe to my channel really appreciate it cool now with that said, this is the Kikun Ultrasonic Humidifier, and it's $95 at Amazon.com. That's a little spendy for a humidifier, but this design where you load it from the top and everything, and you have the remote control, this is a huge win for anyone that struggled with one of those really cheap humidifiers from the local drugstore or something. This is a completely different experience and vastly more user-friendly. So I say if you're somewhere where you need extra humidity, maybe even the baby's room or something, then this is a really good one to check out. So that's all I got. I will hope to see you in my next video.